Hey, welcome to Financial Education here with Warren and Paul today on this really frosty, chilly morning. I think it's about minus six on the school run today. Um, but it's beautiful outside. The sun's up, the grass is nice and frosty. So, uh, Paul, how are you where you are? Are you cold this morning? I'm good. It is chilly here, but it's January, so it's to be expected. And I wanted to start with a bit of good news, which Ooh. is that yesterday reports came out with some new research that showed UK consumer borrowing is now growing at its slowest rate since before the financial crash. Oh. Now, I know you're not a fan of credit cards and, and living, living um, kind of on borrowed money. Yeah. Um, and it's still growing, but good news, I think, overall. It's a, it's a big decrease from, from recent years. Yeah, no, definitely. Absolutely. Um, the, the, the more we can slow the amount we borrow and then slowly reverse that and then start living in credit, the better. But you're absolutely right. Let's not sort of uh, be unrealistic or not uh, celebrate our wins. If we can slow the borrowing, absolutely fantastic. Um, you know, I can't emphasize enough to people how essential it is to get rid of your consumer debt. Um, repay your credit cards and your loans, use the snowball method in the book. Um, step four, make sure it's gone because um, you know what? we've had a fantastic, metaphorically, we've had a fantastic summer. For the last 10 years, the economy has been in summer. Okay. And we're, I think, at the moment in an autumn period. Um, and I'm just concerned that if winter would come, there are few people who will be able to last the winter. And it's very important that we get rid of our consumer debt so we insulate ourselves, we protect ourselves from what might come. But um, quite a deep start to a, um, <laughs> a, a call. Yeah, a great matter working this morning, yeah. yeah. Um, okay, so on with, on with January, if that's okay. And, and we're already at the end of January, unbelievably. And time a good it. time to, to take stock and review what's going on. It's the first month of the year. A lot of resolutions will already have... have been, been broken, of course, but when it comes to finances, if we're looking to do something different in 2019, where should we, where should we be up to? What, what does January signify? I think, you know, for, for me, it's that uh, this morning I, I wake up, I have a routine in the morning, it's my time. Um, I got up this morning and I went through my journal and I reflected on the last 31 days. So I look back through January. And I thought, wow, look at all these things that I'd actually forgotten that I'd done and accomplished. And they're not significantly massive things, but you know, each building is built from one brick. And it's these small little achievements that we've got to consistently do in the right direction that will take us to greatness. So when, 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 you're, when you're setting your compelling vision, when you're looking at your future and you're setting your goals, don't be put off by the baby steps is the consistency in the right direction that will help you win the race. Um, in January is 8% of the year. So we've now got 92% of the year left. I like numbers, okay? Um, it's still in a full game. You know, we've still got 100% to play for. If January wasn't your month, if whatever happened didn't happen, you know, I read a post the other day about some chap who got made permanent in his job um, and then the next day he got called in and was made redundant. You know, that, that's a blow. You know, you've got to be resilient and say, okay, right, what's my strategy? What am I going to do? Let's take some action. Not mm, Try not to mope and be down about it. You know, try and be strong. Focus on what it is you want, what's your outcome, and then take consistent actions towards that. Now, the way I and other people do this is by creating rituals or routines, because then it takes routine, it takes sort of uh, thought out of doing any decision making. It's just creating a habit. So every morning when I wake up, I go down and I have a journal and I write down three to six actions. It's typically three, if I'm honest, because I've learned about the concentration of power. So the fewer things to do, make sure you get those done. So three things that I absolutely must try and get done. That's a bit of an um, oxymoron there, isn't it? Absolutely must try and get done. Absolutely get done that day to move me closer towards my quarterly and my yearly outcomes. Um, but what I also do is... Go ahead, come on. Oh, I was just going to ask. So if, if I thought, you know what, 2019, I'm going to take control of my money and... As you said, it hasn't, it hasn't happened yet for whatever reason. Firstly, I think it's really worth emphasizing that point of yours. Don't beat yourself up about it. Things happen, life happens, and 
you can't be dwelling on what you could and should have done. Yeah. It's about yeah. what you can do moving forwards. And then bringing it through to what you were saying just then, you talk about kind of the, the daily goals and the bigger picture of our grand future. I want to retire at this date, so I need this much money. So what do I need to do to get there? Bringing it right back to those baby steps to get started. What sort of things are you talking about when you're, when you're talking about those daily actions? What, what sort of things can we, can we do to, to get the process started in, for 2019? Okay. Look, great, great question. So it depends. It obviously depends on individuals. But let's say you're in a job. Okay. So um, let me go back and say. So first thing is to set your outcome. What it is you want to see. So it's maybe let's let's use retirement or let's use paying down our debt as an objective. Because for a lot of people, that's it. It's really, really. It's essential that you go through the five steps of the money plan. You just don't jump ahead. So you've got your goals. You've got your compelling vision. You've got your goals. And then we're saying, right, okay, what actions do I need to do to get me closer towards that? So it might be, well, let's look at our income and expenditure. What's coming in? What's going out? We need to ensure that there's more coming in than going out. If there's not, you do one or two things. You increase cash inflows or reduce cash outflows. And if you can't earn more money what you do, you have to look for a side hustle. You have to look for a second job. You have to maybe look for overtime or maybe even change your job. You know, it's you have to make decisions. You cannot keep doing the same things, expecting a different result or just wishing. You know, I read another post on social media the other day and it said something like, you know, um, make sure you dream it, you believe it, make sure um, you, you manifest your what it is you want. And I just straight back and said, I agree with all that, but you need to add in work your ass off. You have to work hard as well because nothing comes without effort. Now, you can work smartly and enjoy it, but you have to work. So, Income, you need to improve your income. And then you have to go through every expenditure item and run the bank account system. It works, guys. Do I need it? Do I want it? So can I get a similar experience for less? And do you know what? You might have to go without things for a period of time. Hey, I'm sorry. You might have to say, I'm going to cancel my cable subscription until I've built up my emergency reserve or until I've paid my debt off. Um, it's making sacrifices today so you can have a fruitful future. Um, so that's the kind of thing that I'm looking. So if it, if you're, you need to go through exercise. So if it's if you have to earn more money, it's okay. Well, today I'm going to go and sit on a job site and I'm going to see, um, what jobs are out there for my skill set, or I'm going to contact the local college or professional training center to see how I can uh, progress my career and, and move forward. Um, things along those lines. Okay. So for me, for example, one of my outcomes is to create money, the money plan university, a home study course. So this afternoon I've got it in my diary. I've scheduled that I'll be writing time to plan out the, the uh, five steps, the content within each of those five steps. So I'm actually writing, I'm just doing the bullet points. So then when I come to it next week, so I'm scheduling it every week, I then can put the content into it. Does that kind of make sense? Yeah. Okay. So just a, a, a structure basically in place where, as you said earlier, you're, you're always taking steps towards something. You're not, you're not floating along or not doing anything different. I'm not, I'm not going to finish the money plan university today in Jack. Do you know what? I'm not going to finish, finish it in February. It's going to take time to do, but by taking a step today, by scheduling time to plan out those steps, to put in the bullet points that I can then fill in, I'm making a close step towards it. You won't get a new job today. You won't necessarily earn more money today, but you can say, I'm going to open up my eBay account. I'm going to go online and open an eBay account. I'm going to go online and research what there is to sell. I'm going to go around my house to an inventory of all the things that move that I don't want anymore. I'm going to put them in one room. I'm going to clean them up and I'm going to list them. Does that make sense? It's, it, that might be a number of actions. It's taking the actions. Also, reading and listening. Don't ever be put off by the fact that you don't have to be putting physical effort in. Reading things, learning things, listening to things like this, getting inspiration um, and motivation of, okay, this is what I want to do. You know, success leaves clues. When you find someone who has been successful in a certain area, whether that's financial, whether that's in fitness or relationships, look what they do. If you emulate the similar characteristic traits and decisions and processes that they do, you'll get a similar result. It's called modeling. And that's what I kind of want you guys to do. I want you to look at this and say, okay, well, actually Warren said he can earn some money on eBay and by looking around the house, um, I regularly have things. I sold something today, uh, yesterday actually, on Facebook Marketplace. I regularly have things listings. And sometimes they'll take months. I think I listed that in November. I still have things on Facebook Marketplace that haven't sold. I'll leave them on there until they do sell. 
Does that kind of make sense? Okay, great. So let's let's look at the other side of the coin, I guess, then, which is let's suppose 2019 has actually started well and I, I put a goal in place for, for the future and for 2019 this year. And you know what? I've taken some of those steps in January. I'm I'm feeling like I'm feeling pretty good because I've got great. some stuff coming. Good, um, good, good, good. Still very important to review kind of where you've come from and where you're at now and then look ahead to the next month of steps and, and what you really do to keep that momentum. Reviewing, looking back, so in the morning ritual is three action steps take today to move you forward. Review yesterday's action steps, okay? It's no point just keep moving forward and forgetting things. How did it go? How did that meeting, I had a meeting yesterday, one of my actions was have an outstanding meeting with this client um, to make sure I really connected with them. How did it go? And when I reflected on it, it went really well. I really bonded with those individuals and it was fantastic. I was really pleased with it. Um, and they left smiling, I left smiling. I'm very proud of that. So it's very important that you um, cherish those decisions making, those decision making process, and you have to review what's going on. Sometimes you won't accomplish the things because life gets in the way. Your children get called sick. Um, the weather stops you doing something. Things happen. So you have to review, okay, I'm going to carry that forward. Now, I can't do it today because I've got other priorities today. I'm going to schedule that for a future date. But by reviewing it, you don't just let it go. But one other thing that reviewing does, and this is the third point, um, is gratitude. And if you're always pushing forward, always driving forward, trying to achieve more and more and more, um, you become empty because there's no real fulfillment of really looking back and saying, well, what am I really grateful for right now? In my life today, what am I really grateful for right now? And every morning I write down three things that I'm grateful for. Um, and sometimes I just look out the window and think, I'm actually grateful because I've got a roof over my head and I'm warm. Because there are some people out there in this world that aren't in that position. And it's important just to come bring things right back to basics. And it really makes you more humble and brings you back to be more emotional. And it's our emotions that make our change. Okay, great. So I, I think then overall the message is if you haven't started yet, don't be beating yourself up. Absolutely. Just make a plan and move forwards with it. If you have started, then great. Give yourself a big pat on the back because you've started the year the way you wanted to. But look back over what you have done as well and feel that sense of achievement. And then look forward at, at what's coming up. Yeah. You, I, I wrote this down this morning and I was quite profound about it. You know, a great life is made up of great years most of the time. You know, a great year is made up of great months, great weeks, great days. Great days are made up of great decisions. And it's just those decisions we've got to make consistently on a consistent basis, it will drive us towards an ultimate happiness of our life. Great. Thank you very much. Thanks, Paul. You take care. Have a good day.